The mothers sit in the UNICEF-supported Malnutrition Feeding Center, quietly patient and ever vigilant, watching for signs that their precious children are getting stronger and will survive. This is Mauritania, a country under siege from two simultaneous emergencies, one of eight countries in the Sahel region of Africa where drought has led to the worst food shortages in years. Mauritania has also become a temporary home to 65,000 refugees escaping violent unrest in Mali. Enduring harsh conditions even in the best of times, one in four Mauritanian families are now subsisting on the edge. 700,000 families don't have enough food to eat each day. As a result, 35,000 children are already malnourished, and this could rise as high, high as 90,000 by the end of the year. Most families in Mauritania rely on farming and livestock to survive, whether from the milk the animals provide or from selling them for money to buy food. But without rain, pastures have dried up and the animals are dying. Those still alive are wasting away, so families desperately try to keep them alive, even if they themselves must go hungry. Mother of five, Daida Boussab, is typical of the mothers at the UNICEF-supported treatment center at Kaidi Hospital. Her son, Ahmed Salim, is almost a year old and weighs just 11 pounds. We used to farm, but now we have no rain. It's so hard for us and for the animals because we can't grow crops and the animals have nothing to eat. All of the families are suffering. With the drought, deaths have increased this year. Parents are forced to travel many kilometers to bring their children here during the final stages. But mothers like Daida were lucky to have somewhere to turn. UNICEF and its partners are working together to save the lives of children. They're providing products that are fortified with micronutrients and all of the things that the body needs to recover from malnutrition, either in a form of fortified milk or a kind of fortified peanut butter. The other thing that UNICEF is doing is working to ensure that healthcare workers know how to track the progress and recovery of these children, weighing them to see how much weight they're regaining, and measuring them to check that they're not having their growth permanently damaged. Once a malnourished child gains weight and the doctors deem it safe, parents can take their children home. One of those fortunate mothers was Rugui Sal. She was finally able to take two-year-old Idi Umar home to his brothers and sisters, but the conditions in her village have not changed. As long as the food crisis continues, Idi will continue to need help. This year I don't have milk because my cows died. Last year I had milk to feed my children, but now that's gone. I'm afraid because everything is dependent on the rain. Rugui continues to need UNICEF-provided supplements to keep Edie on the mend. But the rest of her family struggles by with a daily meal of porridge made of corn, sugar, and water with Rugi carefully ladling out only half a portion for herself so as to provide her children with as much as possible. Sometimes it feels like the statistics on malnutrition are overwhelming, but the reality is that each one of those numbers is an individual child, and each of those children has a mother that is distressed and anxious because they desperately need help. These mothers that are here are like all mothers. They love their children. And that's why we're here to help. But we need more support to save the lives of these children who are like all children.